Today, I invite you on an enchanting walk through four picturesque villages in Dorset, nestled just 10 miles east of the historic town of Dorchester, F. Puddle, Bryanspittle, Turner's Puddle, and Throop. Let's embark on this journey, starting with the delightful Throop. The name Throop comes from the Old English word Throp, or Thorpe, meaning hamlet or small village. This term was used to describe secondary settlements near larger towns. During World War II, to prevent its use by potential German invaders, the posts retaining the ford on the River Stour in Throop were removed, causing the ford to be washed away. Throop was the site of a tragic accident where a Red Arrows Hawk aircraft crashed into a field resulting in the death of pilot flight lieutenant John Egging. Before we begin exploring the nearby village, let's stop by Turner's Puddle along the way.
we now move a little west to the village of Bryanspital. This place was part of an experimental agricultural estate established by Sir Ernest Debenham in the early 20th century, aimed at modernizing farming practices and promoting self-sufficiency among local farmers. is a historic village first mentioned in records from 1083, when it was assessed for land tax purposes. Initially known as Pidel, the village was held by Godric the priest and later mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086. Many cottages in this village were built using locally produced concrete blocks with air spaces, which provided better insulation and reduced the need for deep foundations. The Bryanspital Village Hall is a key community hub, hosting various events, social gatherings, and activities. This historic building, once a barn, continues to play a central role in village life.
bridge over the River Piddle and Bryanspittle, originally built in the 18th century and rebuilt in 1928 using stones from Weymouth's Town Bridge, is a Grade II listed building. With six semicircular stone arches and pendant keystones, it serves as a vital connection within the village, reflecting the region's historical development. Despite its age, the bridge remains actively used for both pedestrian and vehicular traffic. The village was designed in the arts and crafts style, creating a cohesive and aesthetically pleasing settlement. The Bladen Estate, as it was known, became a model for modern farming practices and community planning. for the last village on today's walk. Afpuddle was mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086 as Afapidala, having a manor house belonging to the Abbot of Cern. The village's name derives from the River Piddle and a donor named Afrith.
St. Lawrence's Church in F. Puddle has a rich history dating back to the early medieval period. It was founded in 987 AD when Alfrith or Afrith donated land in the area to the Abbey of Cern. The village's name derives from the donor and the river Piddle. Puddle was mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086 as Aphipidola, having a manor house belonging to the Abbot of Cern. The village's name derives from the River Piddle and a donor named Afrith. historical TIs to the Tollpuddle Martyrs, a group of 19th century agricultural workers who were sentenced for organizing trade unions. John Locke, who provided evidence against them, lived in Aft Puddle. As we wrap up our walk today, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. See you soon. <laughs>